Good morning, Arizona. As we're approaching 730, we've got a big update for you on the breaking news we've been following this morning. DPS now has the man in custody who was leading them on that chase in a stolen APS truck. Yeah, wild morning out there. Gibby's live near 104th Avenue and Lower Buckeye where the search for this suspect just ended. And so Gibby's got the latest. Yeah, good morning, guys. As you can see, a uh, huge presence out here. Not only DPS, Phoenix uh, police also joining in with Tullison. And we can tell you, as you just mentioned, they did take that guy into custody. As a matter of fact, let's uh, roll that uh, video from our Arizona family news chopper. You can see there was a small chase in this Estrella Park neighborhood where they were searching for this guy. Uh, and then they finally were able to tackle him and take him into custody. They just finally put him into one of the uh, police units out here as they are going to now start to investigate what led up to all this. We're hearing early on that possibly the APS truck worker was trying to help a car that was abandoned out on the middle of the street. And as he was trying to help the person out, that's when the car was carjacked and it led him on into a chase into this Tullison neighborhood at one, at one point going all the way back out to I-10 and 107th Avenue before the suspect then made it back to this Estrella Park neighborhood. He got that APS truck stuck. It appears to be in the middle of some type of a ravine or water retention area there. And that's when he ran into the back of these homes. There were 911 callers calling about somebody running in their backyard. And just moments ago, the video that we were showing you was that DPS and those police officers who were out here were able to find him in this neighborhood and take him into custody. Now, uh, what we're going to wait for now is from DPS or from Tullison to see who's going to take the lead on this investigation as to what led up to all this to get some confirmation and wonder if anyone was actually hurt in this event right here. We do know that uh, the man possibly had a gun on him as well. So a lot of questions now to be asked here, guys. As soon as I get an update from uh, the lead investigators out here, I will pass that information along to you. If you're getting up now in the Estrella Park neighborhood, just know all the police presence. That's what you're seeing out here. But they have taken the man into custody. Wow, that was a lot to watch, it sure wasn't it? Is. Yeah, crazy. great job covering that, Gibby. Thank, Thank you, you, Gibby.